some bed lights onto a 2020 Dodge or Ram 1500. Uh, I was not really up for the OEM Mopar one since I could program it with the uh, Mopar. It's like 120 bucks or something like that. So this is my $50 do-it-yourself version of it. Um, I will link, uh, put a link to the description below of every part that I used. These are like some $20, $20 headlights or um, LED lights from Amazon. Uh, all I did was drill a hole, bolt it right through with a little thing for the wire um, and also a light up switch. So how I plan to wire this is I'm gonna have, these are the factory ones we're gonna go, one on each side. Uh, the red and blue are the, the constants that will turn, that will tell this switch to turn on. Uh, the black is the ground. The green is the 12 volt constant that will be on all the time. And what I plan to do is to wire the ground, the black wire, to a magnetic switch, which will activate uh, the always on when the tailgate is, is lowered. And then if the tailgate is lowered and the light is on, I don't want the light on, I can bypass that by clicking this switch. So otherwise, if I leave this on all the time, these lights should come on um, whenever I open the tilt. And so, this bridge is over real quick. So, this will pop in either on that side or this side. I'm gonna run a wire to the 12 volt constant from the from the hitch. Looks like there is a 12 volt uh, positive right there. That will give me power to this guy. And then the ground, I'm gonna do a magnetic switch. Uh, probably stick it to this guy, and stick it to another guy. We'll, we'll, we're gonna have to play with the location to see uh, where that goes. But this should be pretty straightforward. The hardest part's gonna be probably finding the wire to tap the uh, 12 volt constant too. The ground should be pretty straightforward. All right, so we're back here. Uh, I've got, I'm actually just using speaker wire, but I'm gonna wrap it in boom. The LED has a super small draw, so I wanna say I'm not too worried about it being overloaded. Uh, we're also gonna fuse the power coming from the tailgate hitch. And so my, here's my plan. I'm gonna have the power switch on that side. I'm gonna run the wire down to the bottom. This guy's gonna come on that side, come down and across, they're gonna meet in the middle. And then one down there, I'm gonna solder all the connections and uh, shrink it together um, so that it's kind of a permanent connection and then we're gonna have to just zip tie to whatever the existing wires we, are, we have down there. Uh, drop the wire all the way down. I'm not gonna fully put it in yet. And the wire all drops down. Here's the, uh, here it is again. Wire literally just dropped down the hole. There are a bunch of, I see there's a bunch of tabs, which I think you can use some of these little um, tab zip ties. Don't want to place or you can zip it to the hole. I guess I'm gonna follow this uh, wire loom. This side goes over. Look at that, we just found the ground as well. So we're gonna use that ground. And I'm gonna go straight to this harness for power. So that's one side uh, that pretty much should be self-explanatory for the other side. I won't show it, but we're gonna, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna drop, drop the line down, zip tie it, run it to this middle part. The uh, driver's side all soldered together. And uh, what do you call this? Heat shrinked together. So we should be safe. The back of the harness, the yellow is not being to the constant, we're gonna fuse it uh, on the other side of uh, where the double constant is. The red, red and the blue is gonna connect to the, the red coming from the other side, from the other light that is. And then the black is gonna go to our magnetic switch, uh, which we're gonna connect down by. Taking our magnetic switch, we are shoving it down on this hole. I'm hoping to find it on the other side. We're gonna have to figure out where this mounts somewhere along here. I'm assuming that's gonna be pretty close since uh, this 
should get pretty close to this, so I think it might be a pretty good spot. Um, and then on the other end, one side's gonna go to the ground, other side's gonna go to the opposite end of this guy, which all meets down at the harness below. And here's the harness that I'm gonna get power from. Uh, whether or not you need the towing package to have this harness, I'm not sure, but uh, it is gonna be the red wire on the, uh, if you're facing from the back side, is the top left, the one next to the green. Front of where, or I guess on the back of the bumper, there's a diagram that shows you that's that's the power. So I'm just gonna take a wire tap. I'm gonna undo that electrical tape and then uh, just wire tap into the 12 volt. Here is the harness disconnected. I cut open some of the looms so I can get to the red wire, and then I'm gonna add a fused wire tap with one of these guys clamp right in there and then I'm gonna wrap the whole thing back up with uh, some electrical tape. All hooked up, just gotta finish um, tying everything and then he shrank those guys. But, hooked up, that lights are on. So when it, I'm gonna find a place to put this and so once the gate closes and it gets close to that magnet, lights turn off. Or if I want to override it, just have to press the button. Otherwise, it'll just be on all the time. And then the lift gate comes up with the magnet, gets close to this, turns off. Nice and bright. Let's turn off this light. Let's see how bright it is. Oh, yeah. Here it is all finished in the dark, so when we close the bed, magnets hit and uh, turn off, turns off the light. When you open it, lights turn on. If you want to override it, you press the button and it turns off. Or press the button, turn it on, close the bed, magnet switch turns it off. Okay, let me turn the light real quick. You can see it right here. And here's where I have the magnetic switch. I've got the uh, magnetic side right here, and the other side, just double sided tape right there. So that, I don't know if you can see this. They're pretty close to each other, it doesn't even have to be touching. video please subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up down below hope this is helpful and uh, saves you almost $200 I guess thanks for watching this is Johnny over at Detailer Ship Dublin California um, we do paint corrections uh, paint protection paint protection film ceramic coatings uh, pretty much anything related to protection for your car so detailership.com